Hey, what's up? Maybe you can't read. This straight from the United Nations World Health Organization, dated 30th of October, 2021. The bullet points read, climate change affects the social environmental detriments of health, clean air, safe drinking water, sufficient food, and secure shelter. Between 2030 and 2050, climate change is expected to cause approximately 250,000 additional deaths per year from malnutrition, malaria, diarrhea, and heat stress. The direct damage cost to health is estimated between two to four billion dollars a year by 2030. Areas with weak health infrastructure, mostly in developing countries, will be able to at least be able to cope without assistance to prepare and respond. Reducing emissions of greenhouse gases through better transport, food, and energy use choices can result in improved health, particularly through reduced air pollution. Okay, I want to make sure I got this sentence right, so if you're a climate change denier, please explain this to me. The first sentence reads, Climate change is the single biggest health threat facing humanity and health professionals worldwide are already responding to the health harms caused by this unfolding crisis. Let me make sure I read that right. Climate change is the single biggest health threat facing humanity. The inter Intergovernmental Plan on Climate Change is included to, to avert catastrophic health impacts and prevent millions of climate-related deaths. The world must limit temperature rise to 1.5. Past emissions have already made a certain level of global temperature rise and other changes to the climate inevitable. Global, global heating of even 1.5 is not considered safe. However, every additional tenth of a degree of warming will take a serious toll on people's lives and health. While no one is safe from these risks, the people whose health harmed first and worst by the climate crisis are those who contribute least to its causes and who are least able to protect themselves and their families against it. People in low income and disadvantaged countries and communities. The climate crisis threatens to undo the last 50 years of progress in development, global health, poverty reduction, and to further widen existing health inequalities between and within populations. It severely jeopardizes the realization of universal health coverage in various ways, including by compounding the existing burden of disease and by exacerbating existing barriers to access health services, often at times when they are most needed. Over 930 million people, while around 12% of the world's population, spend at least 10% of their household budget to pay for health care. With the poorest people largely uninsured, health shocks and stresses already currently push around 100 million people into poverty every year, with the impact of climate change worsening this trend. Climate change is already impacting health in a myriad of ways, including by leading to death and illness from increasing leave frequent extreme weather events such as heat waves, storms, and floods, disruption of food systems, increases in zoonosis and food, water, and vector-borne diseases, and mental health issues. Furthermore, climate change is undermining many of the social detriments for good health, such as livelihoods, equity, and access to health care and support social support structures. These climate-sensitive health risks are disproportionately felt by the most vulnerable and disadvantaged, including women, children, ethnic minorities, poor communities, migrants, or displaced persons, older populations, and those with underlying health conditions. In this figure, we can see an overview of climate-sensitive health risks, their exposure to pathways, and vulnerability factors. Although that it is unequivocal that climate change affects human health, it remains challenging to accurately estimate the scale and impact of many climate-sensitive health risks. However, scientific advances progressively allow us to attribute an increase in morbidity and mortality to human-induced warming, and more accurately determine the risk and scale of these health threats. In short, to medium term, the health impacts of climate change will be determined mainly by the vulnerability of populations, the resilience to the current rate of climate change, and extent and pace of adaptation. In the longer term, the effects will increasingly depend on the extent to which transformational action is taken now to reduce emissions and avoid breaching of dangerous temperature thresholds and potential irreversible tipping points. Now, I know we can't really trust the UN, we can't trust NASA, 
We can't trust our own government. We, I guess we can only take the word of aliens now. With that in mind, this is a very bold statement to come from the World Health Organization. I'll repeat, climate change, the biggest threat, health threat facing humanity. Once again, hope you enjoyed this content. Hit like and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.